Thanks a lot. You're looking good. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Easy now. Slow up. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. What? Oh, no, he, we told Jake that he, I'm a married man, that's right. We didn't tell Miss McFarlane. Sorry, I was just holding A. Like, it doesn't matter what they look like in game, you just have to watch the map. Just keep an eye on the arrow on the map. I hear a storm. I didn't know if this was. I hear, like, thunder. Unless that's their feet, I'm not sure. Let's go. Oh, we got a strike. That's a horse. Oh, there's some fever, fever few. Damn it. You can't look at, look at them and ride at the same time, because you have to like, keep pushing A. Unless you like, hit the fat finger of the buttons. There's a big ass buck right there. There's more fear of you. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. <laughs> Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Is that all I had to do? No. Oh. The game saves by itself. So where was that fever of you that I just saw? A hundred honor. Pops up on the map, but it's not right now. I'm gonna go save again. But, uh, I don't know. Is that it? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go back and get that other one, too. The one I saw. Alright, let's go save again. Well, no. Nah. It already saved. Let's just go. Oh, wait, I don't think I can do her. Uh, it might not be a time. B is small, I think that means it's not time. Easy. It's 
7 a.m. today. Oh, oh, we're like, what, like 10 minutes away? Just stand here. How long does it take for 10 minutes to pass? It's almost time. Yeah. Wild well, horses. Hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I bury more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. I've had whole herds of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. <laughs> it's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> I have a feeling John Morrison's been through a lot more than that guy. <gasps> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, yes. now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. You look so cool too. I'm a sure real have cowboy. Some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Come on. 
I want the white one. Well, no, I like the brown one. This one. Horses like this next to my parents' house. Well, there's a few. Hold on to him. Whoa, there. there. Fever few, but I, don't, I think I already got that one. Oh, we're like centered. We we're centered there for a good bit. Buster. Oh. There we go. I didn't pick this one. Yeah, you have completed their first rank of survival challenge. Oh! <laughs> what? Did I still complete my challenge? Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. I gotta get the same one. Yeah. Oh me. Oh god, that was bad. Call me. He almost got away. No! Man, how'd I fail? <laughs> Just because I stayed away for like two seconds. Quit picking flowers. Following you now. Sorry. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Weston Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. It's like the same horse she's riding, basically. She like glitched well, out there at the end. Marston, these are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Let's. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens. 
chicken sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Anyways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. I see him, I see him. That's what that is. No, don't go that way. That's the one I want. I think that's one of the best horses in the game. Come on. I don't want to get rid of my horse though. There's another fever few. I don't think I need to pick any more of them though. Brothers behind. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Where are you going? Stop running! Come back! Come oh god, what if I accidentally shot it? Come on now. I let go of the LT on accident. This is fucking me. <laughs> Easy. That's it. That's Wait, why do I have to? Oh, come on, horse. Here you 
you follow me. I don't want to get rid of you. No, come back. Come back, son of a bitch. Follow me. I guess this is Bonnie's horse, though, technically. <gasps> Where'd my horse go? Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. What about my horse? Where did he go? <laughs> Honor, honest Joe. Yeah. People have taken notice of your honorable actions. Jobs in town pay twice as much. If I wouldn't have shot a few people, I could have gotten that earlier. See, that's like so easy. It's like cheating <laughs> with aim assist. New weaponry. Well, is that a few or a few, or did I already get down? Already got down. I wonder how long it takes to. To, uh, regenerate the. Oh, I already got that challenge done, that's right. What was that? They just die in one shot. Last still. <laughs> Ew, he took his eyeballs out. There's some more birds. Bam! That wasn't. That wasn't, um. Aim assist. Skin five coyotes, kill five coyotes. Oh, you just said skin five coyotes. Um. Oh, I need to get more than. Oh, I didn't. I didn't complete this because I failed that. Oh, that sucks. Shoot and kill five flying wild birds. Okay, that's easy. I'm about to get finished that. Where do you fall? We'll kill the coyotes and then pick the flower. And then we'll look at the challenges. So there should be. I don't think they would have despawned. What the fuck is that? What the hell is this thing? Expert hunter? What kind of animal is that? Come on. Let's get this over with. Jackalope? The fuck is a jackalope? Hey, 
isso. I need to pick one of these. <laughs> It's just telling me where they all are. Oh, too slow. There's a snake. I better watch that. Already. Oh. That's not fair. Why can't I pick it up? He's gonna win. Damn it. It won't let me pick that other one. I think it was, I might have already picked that one. Maybe that's why. It's okay. Wait, I didn't want to read this. Until I kill the coyotes. I pick I got the herbalist or the I got the flower picking one. But I just need to kill five coyotes. Which are gone now. <gasps> I don't have a stallion anymore. Because I never I got my old horse back. <laughs> Unless he's standing over here. That's funny. Oh. Come on, easy up now. Dead now. Rattle sneak. Oh Lord, this is nasty. Snake skin. We should name our horse. I don't know what, what his name should be. Go. Hmm. Oh God. Name him Brad. His name is Brad. Brad's got a cool, like, shine to his the black part of his fur. What is that? Wish I had binoculars. Is it a buck or is it a doe? It's a doe. Oh, that's what I heard. They're like fighting over here. What are you guys doing? Cheater. It's the way of the West. Come on. Let's 
go up that way to get back to Bonnie's. Maybe we'll see some coyotes on the way. Do coyotes chase deer? I feel like a deer would be a lot faster than a coyote in real life. I think you guys can hear it too. There's like beeping noises. I don't know if it's like birds or what. Howdy, partner. Hello. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Mm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so. Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so. People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. <laughs> Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> A dog seemed to bark every time I'm in a cutscene. This is Pleasant's house northwest of Armadillo. Okay, I'm gonna go save and then I think I'm gonna get off for now. Hopefully I see coyotes on the way. My dogs bark until you come inside, and it's really annoying. My wife is outside. She just got home. Join in on horseshoe games. Alright. Let's go save. I only do my cringy intro in the beginning of a playthrough, so I don't have to keep doing it.